This is Lolly. Welcome back to my series on the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo from 2019 in Denver. Now I want to show you what I purchased while I was there. This was one of the specials in that in the crop room, sometimes uh, a vendor will uh, pull out, uh, a, set up a quick booth for some clearance items or special deals that they have. And this is the Tonic Studios Table Tidy, and it does stretch out pretty long. This clamps onto your table here, so it's hanging off your table, therefore freeing up a lot of room on your table. It comes unsnapped. You can remove it and wash it, I suppose. And then this one uh, hooks onto the side of that, and then this, which is just the perfect size for your scissors or pins or your drink, it hooks onto a side as well. So all that was on, he put that on a, a really good deal and you had, to, you had to act quickly or you would lose the opportunity. Now, because I had taken a class on the Zig uh, Clean Color Real Brush Markers, I wanted to get the four colors, well, excuse me, the three colors that we needed to complete the cards. And I like this yellow better than, than uh, the one that came in our kit. So I purchased those. And I mentioned the Keep It Simple booth that, um, I don't know why this is missing its header and it's falling out of the, anyway, at the Keep It Simple booth, um, we had, we got a discount, uh, there as well as the, uh, coupons that I mentioned in my other video. That was one, um, insert. And I also picked up from the Keep It Simple booth the, um, collection sticker sheet for the basically it's like cropping and scrapbooking all night cropper etc lots of really cute crafty things are kind of getting bent up because they got chewed up a little bit from being in my bag and then this I got as soon as I got there it's AC cardstock they have the 12 inch uh, heavyweight 80 pound cover or 216 GSM there's 60 sheets here and so it's black I picked that up also, that same night, I picked up the Yellow Door paper pad. I wasn't sure if I was going to use this one or my uh, one that I chose um, for the six-inch paper pad journal that I made. I ended up using the one that I brought from home, but this would be a really good journal as well. And I also picked this up from Keep It Simple booth. Okay, I picked up these ones as well, which I paid for. These two Fun Stamper Journey stamps, Don't Be Pushed by Your Problems, Be Led by Your Dreams, and this beautiful sewing image there. I bought those. But these are not in any order. Also from the Keep It Simple booth was these sticky notes that are, that are tabs off the top of your page. Very cute. And then at one point, they came in and had a super special... Um, they brought a table into the crop room of super deals, and I like using these as giveaways. In um, when people buy from me in my shop, I put some of those in there. Back to the Keep It Simple booth, I got this Stamp and Scrapbook Expo shopping bag enamel pin. Now I took that waxed um, Gilder's wax paste class, so I went to their booth and I picked up the patina, the Celtic bronze, and the. This is the well, Pinotage, is that what that is? And the Violet, so I picked up those four. Uh, one of the things I picked, I think I got this from Tall Mouse, and it is one of those bead funnel trays, so you can un your beads are in here, you unscrew it and pour it back into your container. Uh, also from Tall Mouse, they're glitters. He said he was going to have a hard time um, getting those in stock for the same price next year. So I got those and this. I picked this up from Islet Outlet, I believe. It's different wine bottles for a friend. And also from Islet Outlet, I picked up these, which are just beautiful. And I love these, these really wide enamel dots. Those are very cute. Um, in my freebies, I explained that there was a store that had make a ten dollar purchase and get a free stamp this is what i purchased i just love this the card that they had made with this donut worry be happy sprinkling you with joy etc and the die that goes with that i bought that i picked this up it's called just called the pencil it picks up your stones 
you sharpen it and it's not it's not a wax it's just a pencil but it's like oil based so it picks up your rhinestones for you oh, and there's another glitter I got two of those because I use a lot of those I also at this place stamps of life bought this created by because I just really like the font and I'm trying to think of who sold this. I picked up this Moda scrap paper. It says it's a paper pack, not cardstock, but I really love the paper. And I picked this up also from Tall Mouse. It's a mini Teflon bone folder keychain. It's so adorable. Here's some more of the um, clear, clear uh, excuse me, Snap Studio stuff that I picked up that day. Okay, so on Stamplistic, I showed you a card that we did. I did it the make and take, and that I, uh, we did in the mega make and take, and that the mega make and take was this one. I went <clears throat> back to their store. They had, I think, um, I picked up that one, this one, this one, and this one, which I showed in the projects that I had made with the, uh, while I was at Expo. Okay, now, um, they had a deal uh, the, the very first night, you, um, uh, the Mega Make and Take night, on these, it was buy two, get one free, I believe, and these were all pop-up cards. They're very interesting and can't really explain, but this one's a coffee cup. This one, if you look at it, it's really interesting, but it looks like these items don't come with it. It's just the framework to be and the Polaroid pieces around there. So in other words, you don't get the horse, you don't get the lamb, etc. So you can make this whatever you want. And they had several different um, images that they had used. They did one that was Halloween, so you can do whatever you want. And this shows you what else they used here to make this. But So when you open this, the, all of the little pieces pop out like that, and they're really great. I like this, which is a pop-out house. It could be just a regular house or a gingerbread house. Of course, you would need the gingerbread men and all that. You could also make a haunted house with it. And um, I went back to uh, the Craft Fantastic booth. They had a deal if you took their Mega Make and Take and you went to their booth first thing in the morning. If you made a purchase, you can get the kit to make the expo necklace which we did last year and I really like that now it's really cute and I have last year's necklace and this is just a little different but I know one of my friends took her necklace from last year and um, she is Julie at three sisters sundries uh, YouTube channel and she took the charms off of her necklace from last year and she made it into a charm on her scrapbook about expo very brilliant so this is what I bought in order to get this free. I got these really wide square pendants, which I love, and the really wide circle ones. And I found some more enamel shapes that I got from the, the whole Keep It Simple that had the whole Crafty Girls line. And here's some more of the outlet, eyelet, outlet wide or the jumbo enamel dots, which I've been using. I did pick up one more bottle of White Nouveau Drops. Okay. Okay. So the rest that I bought is going to be in a separate, in a, the rest that I bought is going to be in a separate video for a reason. And that's because of the new rules coming down the line in January. Anything that um, inspires children to watch, um, they're going to assume that your entire channel is a children's channel. They will change the ads that are allowed on your channel, therefore basically demonetizing the channel. And they will also um, block all comments. Nobody will be able to comment anymore or even get notifications that you have a new video. All of that just because your videos appeal to children. So the parts that appeal to children, I'm trying to put on a separate video and I will get that up after this one. Thank you for watching. It was a great experience and I think I did really well on what I picked out. Hi, I have one correction. I had said that this was something I had bought that had just occurred to me until I took it out. This was actually at the Make and Take at the Creativity Center, which they, they alternate the what Make and Takes from different companies. And so this was a traveler's notebook with some, um, they gave us this paper and some ephemera to put in however we wanted. And I put Stamp and Scrapbook Expo there. And then we played around with some watercolors 
and added more ephemera on there. So very fun. And this was where we got the Colorado stamp was to go with this. So I just wanted to update that and put that in there and give them credit because I really liked this project and it was really fun. Thank you for watching.